So today we've got another stealth camp for you guys, or somewhat stealthful. We're going to stay at a Menards, which is home hardware, right? Yeah. Yeah. So I've actually it, never yeah. been to a Menards. I know they're popular though. <laughs> yeah, me neither. We were staking out somewhere to stay on Google Maps. And by the way, if you guys haven't used Google Maps before for like staking out a camp, uh, it's actually so good. It's it so seems detailed. So logical. <laughs> I don't remember the satellites being so detailed, but they're insanely good. So yeah, we staked it out with that. We worked out there's a pretty good spot to one side of it. So we're gonna go check that out soon. We've got a few errands to run though. Mm -hmm. Is it raining? Uh, what the hell? That's not good. Oh, not. Sorry. Taylor loves going fast over the speed bumps. That wasn't a speed bump. What was it? Just a road. Is it, this road's new. I saw it on Google Maps. It wasn't even built. Unbelievable. Mm. Yeah, so this is literally where I was thinking of. It's this dark. side. Yeah. We could literally just go right here where it's dark. The only thing I didn't like about here is it's right close to that road. So people are going to be speeding up as they turn around that. Mm. Or come in, they're going to be braking. So I think this way more is better. Yes. Um, wow, the sky's nice. Even, yeah, I was thinking like here somewhere. Yeah, but if we want dark, we we'll here if we want dark, you know? Yeah, that'd be a good spot. All right, cool. Cool. Yeah. On to our next tasks. Yep. Let's hit the gym. Let's do it. I would put the light down. I wouldn't use the light. What do you mean? This is disgusting. <laughs> oh, shit. Let's just tell them. Okay. Okay, okay. All right, so Taylor didn't really want me to film this. Do you want to tell them why? <laughs> because we used the same pot, rice pot, for lunch, and then Matt was picking on it, eating about it throughout the day, so it's, like, hella dirty with different sauces. So Matt whipped out like a light and I said, don't put the light on it. Like the pasta thing is freaking dirty. And he was <laughs> like, no, let's just do it. So anywho. This is real van life, isn't it? This is real it? van life. Yeah, I'm not sure if we shared it with you guys, but the way we've been washing dishes lately is we either take them in one of these bags into the library and we wash them in one of the library toilets, like the you know, disabled or family toilets, or we take them into the gym and wash them in the, you know, the gym, family or disabled toilets. Not like in the toilet, but like in the bathroom, in the restroom. Do we always do it like this? I think so, don't we? Well, not since we've, well, just since we've been to Kansas pretty much. What do we even used to do? We used to wash them with the spray bottle. Really? Oh, yeah, yeah so. it's not a surprise. <laughs> that's right. So, yeah, I guess what we used to do is wash them in the van or just outside the van. But since it's been so cold, we've started taking them in the gym, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this potato. Suspect can't. potato. <laughs> yeah, well, it's soft and, yeah, I don't know about this one. What else we got? We got some sweet potatoes. Okay. It's starting to go bad. That works. Okay. Here's another old potato, but it's not squishy like that one. Oh, you're just going to discard that one? Yeah. Okay. Either this one or we've got a sweet potato yeah, that's definitely that good. Cool. I have like a system for cutting these potatoes. I don't know if it really makes it any easier, but I like slice through it like that. Then I slice through it this way. So then when I do like my final cut to dice it, like it just, you can hold it all together, you know? I'm sure that like any chefs watching would just be like, what are you doing? But I don't know, I find it works pretty cool. Pump some water in. All right, good to go. So Taylor, what are you thinking? Well, we just hot tubbed and showered, so now I'm pretty hungry. I think Matt's gonna drive us over to Menards where we're sleeping for the night so we can sprawl out, set up, and start eating some dinner. All right, check it out, guys. We're back at Menards now. It's just over behind me there. Taylor's in the van. She's a little hangry, so I'm not gonna record her for now. 
I think it's going to be fine. There's still a lot of cars in the lot. Menards is a lot bigger and busier than we realised. But, you know, it's probably a bit dark, but we're tucked over the side here. There's probably going to be employees here all night, in which case we're just really not going to stand out that much, especially because, you know, we're only going to be here one night. I think it's going to be no problem. I'm going to hop in the van and get some food. Guys, this Menard's lot. God, it blew my head. Literally, I can't even kneel. Oh, this Menard's lot is actually really quiet. We're used to noisier spots. Yeah, we are. It's actually really nice. Okay. Seriously, come on. I think ideally for me, the bed, I'd be able to kneel on it and be upright when I'm kneeling and my head wouldn't hit the roof. But you guys have probably noticed, like, it doesn't take much for my head to be touching the roof. Tyler, what are you doing? I'm getting tired, so I'm cozying up. We still gotta do the dishes. We'll just do them tomorrow. Got the rice cooker Oki strapped on there so it doesn't move when we drive. Old potato, Tabasco sauce. I'm gonna clean up a bit. Here we have, a, oh we actually have a bit of leftover rice. I didn't realize you had some left. A little bit of rice left, let's pop the lid on. Keep it for the morning. The dishes go right there. Actually, you know what I really want to do? I want to have like a little um, composting like bucket and then find like, in, in Australia, I think it's probably the same here. I want to find like a local place where you can take your scraps to be composted, like all your organic scraps. And yeah, that way it's just like less waste, more sustainable. How do you guys manage waste in your van? Do you guys like recycle? Do you just throw it all in the bin or? You know, your scraps, do you just throw them in the bush or in the in the forest? Like, what do you guys do? We kind of, we try and recycle as much as we can. We could probably do more, but we recycle our cardboard, glass, and our, like, tin and steel. And the rest, even the soft plastic, that usually goes to landfill, unfortunately. I usually fill up a couple of these bottles before bed. So we have them during the night in the morning. So I like to drink during the night. I usually get up in the middle of the night to take a piss, but I always like to have at least one, probably two of these bottles next to me when I get up in the morning. Oh. I actually don't know how, I must have bumped the charge controller. <laughs> Sorry, I have my retainer. <laughs> We must have bumped this the charge controller because our fan wasn't turning on and neither was our diesel heater. But we realized if we press a button on it, it'll turn it back on. So everything's working now. Should we go to bed? Nice. So hopefully we don't get bothered tonight. Um, we'll see how it goes. But I have a good feeling about this spot. It's nice and dark and pretty secluded, so I think we'll sleep good too. Taylor, why are you eating out of a pot? Because <laughs> we didn't wash our dishes last night and Matt took the other cereal bowls, so <laughs> I'm left with the pasta pot to eat my cereal in. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mind though. I do this sometimes. So guys, check out this weather. Today's supposed to be the warmest day we've had in ages. We get out of the van and there's fog everywhere. Come on, man. I'm going to Menards. Okay, I have a good poo. So this spot actually ended up being a really good stealth cam. I think it's really quiet. I mean, over this way, there's some kind of factory or something, but there's not much going on there. So it's really quiet. For some reason, there's a road over there, but you just can't hear the cars going past at all. It's like weirdly quiet. And yeah, I guess like, we're sort of quite fast one side of Menards. So everyone parks way over there. No one really parks where we are. It's just a great spot. This is actually one of my favorite spots that we've sort of parked at so far. It's just so quiet. I'm not used to it. 
It almost shouldn't be this quiet. It's actually weird. I mean, it is a Saturday. The only sound is the diesel heater. Hey. Hi. Hey. Nice seeing you here. <laughs> you listen to Shai. Yeah. Nice. I uh, washed. Did some emergency washing of my undies in the shower last night. So I was just pulling them out of my bag to dry off. <laughs> oh, whoops. I see you hanging them up. Nice, nice. Yeah. Like a the lines we're in are actually blue. But I mean, it's not like this is a disabled park way out here. And I noticed that these ones are all blue, those ones are all blue, but these ones are white, but they're blue right down here as well. So maybe it's staff parking. It doesn't say anything though. It's also like, did they just run out of paint? I don't know. You wanna chuck that? Oh, there's my um, buff right there in the um, black water bottle holder. I'm sure you guys have seen by now where my clothes are, but literally in this plastic box. What sucks, and you probably noticed I don't change much, <laughs> is that because this is all here, it's really hard to get anything out. So I find myself wearing whatever's on top over and over again. <laughs> don't I, Taylor? Yeah, but I found myself kind of doing that too. I, whenever like the weather was warm, it's not a big deal because you feel pretty comfortable like messing around and getting stuff out. Yeah. But when the weather's cold, you really can't be bothered to like dig through cubbies and find things. Exactly. <laughs> I'm gonna go empty the uh, piss jars. Sounds good. Taylor, this was such a good spot. Yeah, I actually slept really good here. Yeah, me too. I think we can definitely call this one a success. Yeah, this is definitely a success. Menards did us good. It was nice and quiet. Actually, one of the better places we've stealth camped. Yeah. So I liked it. Can you call this stealth camping? I'm not sure. I don't know. If you just park at a business, is it really stealth camping? Van parking lot camping. Yeah. We're not really being <laughs> stealth about it at all. Well, we didn't really have to be, because we're so yeah. far away from the entrance that nobody really would be bothered by us or notice us. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it was good. All right, guys, thanks for watching the Menard Stealth Camp. I think it was a pretty good success. We might even try and stay there again. It was that good. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment if you've got any questions, and subscribe for more videos. Voila! You know how to ruin a video clip, don't you? What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs>